This video, we're going to go in depth on how you can get the best barbell squat possible. Now, that's not only for maximum efficiency when it comes to powerlifting, so you move as much weight as you physically can, but also when it comes to stimulating muscle growth in terms of bodybuilding. We're going to start with the bar. Now, of course, get a squat rack, get a bar, start with out any weights, but just for demonstration purposes, I threw some weights on. We're going to start by grabbing the bar on the little knurling bits you'll see here. It's got like a little knurling. This will sort of help you determine how far you want your hands. And this is basically all down to wrist and elbow flexibility. The more flexible your elbows and wrists will be, the closer you can grab the bar. Whereas me, because I'm not crazily flexible, I need to grab it quite wide. And that is to allow my head to get under and my elbows to be tucked in. No matter what position we put the bar on our back, we want our elbows to be tucked into us, into our lats as much as we can. What that's going to do is going to create a much more stable base for the bar to sit. It's going to create a little ledge. So we've grabbed the bar. Now there's two options when, we, when it comes to squats. We've got high bar squats and we've got low bar squats. Now a high bar squat is where we put the bar, we contract our scapula but we put the bar on our, the top of our traps there there's like a little divot it should sit in and that is where we're going to be having the bar during our squats now this might feel mega uncomfortable to you but it's just a case of finding the sweet spot with the bar and maybe building a bit of muscle on your traps so they're a bit more robust and of course just getting used to that position a high bar, because the weight is further forward, it means our uh, centre of mass is also further forward. Therefore, it's going to focus more on our quads. Most people say that high bar squats, they can do more reps with, but less weight than low bar squats, which is what I'm going to cover now. Grab the bar, but we're going to, instead of coming onto our traps like here, we're going to go one lower and we're going to go under our traps. And this is where I talk about bringing our elbows nice and tucked into our lats because then we create a little shelf on our rear delts. You'll see here, we're creating a shelf on our rear, rear delts for the bar to sit. And the bar should find a little shelf to sit on there, like so. Keeping our elbows nice and tucked, our back contracted has a nice place to sit. Now, we'll start with high bar. So we'll go from head to toe start with our head position. Now our head, we don't want to be looking up as we're squatting, but we don't want to be looking down. Our head needs to be like neutral. It needs to stay like this. Our chest needs to stay upright. The rest of our torso, we don't want to be leaning forward during any point of the squat. We want to keep our chest nice and high. Elbows contracted, back contracted, and we're going to take more of like a call it a brace in powerlifting, where if you're wearing a belt, you push out into the belt and you brace your core like that. It's that simple movement. You'll notice my hips come slightly forward when I brace and we tuck in our glutes like so. Doing this will allow us to be much more stable throughout the duration of the squat and it will stop us from having a butt wink at the bottom, which could injure our back. So, when we squat, we break at the hips. We don't start bending our knees first. We break at the hips first until the right angle of torso. And then we start to bend our knees like so. Remember that brace position, contracted, and then bend at the hips and then bend at the knees after. All right, now we wanna to get to the point of parallel. Now parallel is where our hip crease, which is here, is lower than the top of our knee. Uh, and this in powerlifting is classed as a like, legal lift. It'll get passed as a, as a lift as long as our hip crease breaks the height of our knee. If it's slightly higher, like here, then it'll be a no lift. Foot positioning on the squat, we want to go as a general rule of thumb, shoulder width apart, maybe slightly wider, and we want to point our toes out slightly. Now you may get some people who Different areas of our legs might be stronger in certain ways. So if they're like a sumo deadlifter, for example, they probably have quite strong glutes, hamstrings, 
and the inside of their thighs so they might actually go for quite a wide stance when they're squatting the opposite being people have quite strong quads that might go more closer that might feel more efficient for them to move as much weight as they can when they're powerlifting now another thing i want to speak about going to high bar again we'll cover low bar in a sec is the bar path you'll see that the end of the bar well squatting isn't my strong point i'll be honest but it should go straight up and straight down as opposed to wiggling backwards and forwards like so on the way up and the way down It shouldn't come down and then come forward and then start doing all of this. You'll notice in that example there, my hip shot up first. Now you usually see when someone isn't strong enough to lift the weight, they'll get to the bottom of the squat and they'll start coming forward like this. And then their hips will shoot up and then they'll sort of like deadlift it up almost. We want to maintain our chest upright at all times. See, I'm breaking parallel there as well. So, it's much easier to do a high bar squat without falling backwards if we have insufficient mobility in our hips and ankles. When it comes to a low bar squat, we need to either counteract this through having better mobility or we can get squat shoes which have a thicker heel or we can simply just put plates under our feet. So I'll go over that now. You'll see in the low bar squat. So I'm resting the weight on my rear delts now. If you go to the side again, Gabe, it's much easier to keep the weight back but if you don't have the mobility for it, you might end up falling back in this position. So to counteract that, we can put little plates under our heels so we don't end up falling backwards and we keep our center, center of gravity in the right place. We'll get a couple of small plates. This is if you don't get squat shoes. This is how me and some of my mates have always squatted because we're inflexible. Low bar, and then we're just stepping onto the plates like so. And this will allow us to it will create a, le a lesser of an angle with our shins, so that we're not going to fall backwards. It keeps our center of gravity, center of mass, should I say, a little bit further forward, so we don't fall back. Again, I'm breaking parallel at the bottom, bracing my core, tucking, tensing my glutes. You notice I'm keeping my elbows nice and tucked in. I'm not flaring them out here. Also, when you're doing the low bar squat, you need a greater flexibility of your wrists and your shoulders and arms because the bar is further down your back. So it's, you're going to need to stretch your arms around further. A great exercise for that would be these things you used to do before CrossFit classes were where you get your wrist or you get your hand on the bar like this and you just push it under like that and it stretches all along here and then you can just work either side. This is a great exercise to do just to get that flexibility in your elbows. A couple more things. If you're looking at getting into powerlifting, then make sure you buy a belt. We'll do videos on that as well. Belt should sit just under your rib cage and just above your hips in this region here. It should be tight enough, but not too tight, so you can brace out into it and it will create that stronger core for you to avoid the butt wink and avoid getting injured. Also, knee sleeves, they just make your knees feel a little bit safer and they also add a little bit of elasticity, allowing you to lift a little bit more weight, although it doesn't make much of a difference. When we're squatting, we want to keep the weight going through the middle of our foot. That's the best way to describe it. A lot of people teach squats saying that you're meant to push through your heels. 
that's total bollocks. You don't want to do that. You want to push through all of your foot. You want to use the whole of your, the base of your feet to press the weight through. Because if you start pressing through your heels, you're likely to fall backwards. Same as if you start pressing through your toes, you're likely to fall forwards. I have always preferred doing low bar squats over high bar, but that's simply because I've got a big ego and I can lift more weights with the low bar. I've squatted 190 low bar, but only probably 160, 170 high bar. So it's down to personal preference. You pick whichever one you find feels the best and then just stick with that. I've made the mistake before of just switching between them and not really making no calculated progress. So pick one and stick with it. And that is how you barbell squat.